What's up, TDW fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. Got a whole bunch of stuff for you this week. We're getting right into April. I mean, some of you guys could be crushing them on top water. Some of you down south might already be into full summertime mode. Guys up north, you know, it's still freezing cold up there, and you might be just in those very early pre-spawn stages. No matter where you're at in the country, we kind of got something that'll fit everyone's uh, everyone's needs right now. So first one up, from Six Sense, we got a new lipless crankbait. Uh, this is the new Six Sense Quake lipless crankbait slow sink model. Uh, really cool design. Uh, the Six Sense Quake has already been just a phenomenal lipless crankbait in general. They have that dual flat back design, so it, it produces a ton of vibration. They're really loud. I mean, they have a, that really strong signature in the water. But now with the new slow sink model, you can kind of fish it differently than all the other lipless crankbaits out there on the market. I don't know why someone hasn't been doing this, uh, doing this before. So if you're in those situations where you're fishing like really, really shallow water and you're trying to rip through the grass, you know, that this is gonna be a great option. You can still fish that lipless crankbait through there and it's not gonna just ball up and bury into the grass. I mean, sometimes when you're in those situations where you're fishing really shallow and you wanna rip through the grass and yo-yo through that stuff, you have to downsize to like a quarter ounce lipless crankbait. This way you can still throw a full size lipless and fish some of those areas uh, where you previously wouldn't be able to get a full size lipless crankbait just because you would need to crank it, you know, crank it so much and work it just to keep it out of the grass or creep it out of whatever you're doing. You know, in, in even places where you traditionally throw a full size lipless crankbait with that slow sink model, it's just gonna give you a little bit different look. You can fish it a little bit slower and it's just gonna give you a whole different action than every other lipless crankbait that's going down the bank right now. I mean, sometimes when that bite's going on, I mean, everyone's got the same bait on. This one's gonna give you just a little bit different action. Something cool, you know, just gonna expand the areas that you can actually throw a lipless effectively and not be fighting it all day long. All right, we got a couple new ones from Depths. So the first one here is the Depths Bala Song Minnow. And I know this is not a new bait. Before you blow me up on the comments, this is just one that's new to Tackle Warehouse. So um, these have been really hard to get our hands on. We finally got a batch of the regular Bala Song Minnows. So we've carried the long bill model in the, in the past, which gets you down to probably that 10, 12 foot range. This is just their standard you know, 100 and 130 size jerk bait. These are really cool jerk baits. These are these are pretty aggressive jerk baits. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be a big profile in the water, make a lot of noise, this is gonna be the one for you. The the regular 100, it kind of has that taller body shape, kind of like a Lucky Craft Pointer 100. Um, just, uh, just a bit bigger profile than some of the other jerk baits on the model, or on the market. And then you have the 130 size, you know, big jerk bait. Um, they have really aggressive rattle and weight transfer system in it. I mean, you can hear all the weights going, you know, banging around in there. It's like, it's almost like a lipless crank. Uh, when you hold it up to the light, you know, there's a couple weights that are in the belly that shift, and then there's a weight that shifts all the way from the head to the tail. So, I mean, you're getting a really big weight transfer system in it. You know, you're getting weights in different chambers sliding all the way to the tail. So you can cast this thing like a bullet. Um, you know, it is a taller flat, it's taller with the flatter sides on it, so it does roll and emit a lot of flash. And you snap this thing, it's gonna be super loud and it's balanced to where it's gonna be really erratic as there's gonna dart all over the place. Uh, comes, it comes right out of the box with some Ryugi treble hooks on there. Kind of have that nano coat, that slick gray coating on there so they're not gonna reflect. Just a tremendous jerk bait. If you're looking for that bigger profile, more aggressive, louder jerk bait, Depths Ball of Song Minnow is gonna be the way to go. The next one that we got from Depths is kind of going to be for you guys that are in that, still in that cold water. This is the Depths Evoke Shad. So really small crankbait. This is kind of Depths' take on more like a shad wrap style crankbait. So you know in those cold water situations, the shad wrap style, like a Rapala shad wrap, always excels really, really well. Um, sometimes they are difficult to cast, even, even the, uh, like the smaller size ones. So you have to go down to like a spinning rod on you know light line, something like that. This one, you're gonna be able to throw it on light bait casting equipment if you want. Spinning, you know, obviously spinning equipment's gonna be a little bit easier, but uh, since this is an injected molded bait, on the inside there is a magnetic weight transfer system. So when you cast it, when you flink, when you load the rod, you know, that weight's gonna slide down in the tail and then it goes back up in the front and locks into that magnet, get that perfectly balanced uh, swimming action. So if you're up north, you're still in that cold water situation and you need that more finesse style crankbait, that Evoke Shad's gonna be the way to go. You know, it has a really tight wiggling, wiggling action. You can snap it and kind of get it to dart around like a jerk bait. It's kind of an in-between style bait. 
uh, reinforced lip on there, so it's a little bit thicker plastic up around the lion tie, so you can bang this thing into cover and you're not gonna tear it up, it's not gonna get out of tune real easy. Just a sweet little shad style crankbait. Uh, you know, like from, it's coming from depth, so you got a bunch of awesome colors. Got those same Ryugi treble hooks on there, so just ready to go right out of the package. Sweet little crankbait. Now, let's talk about some top water stuff. So if you're down south in Florida, Texas, uh, depending on where you're at in the country, the top water bite, could already be going off. And one of the best ways to catch those first fish that are gonna to start to committing to top waters is buzz baits. So we got two new buzz baits from Picasso. These are the Picasso Hank Cherry Toad Slayer and then the Double Toad Slayer. This is one of the most awesome buzz baits I've seen in a while. So not a lot of people are fishing traditional buzz baits with skirts on them anymore. A lot of people are switching over to plastics. It's just a lot easier to cast. They run a little bit better, it seems like, um, than, than some of the skirted buzz baits. And they give you the ability to skip and throw under docks and just give you more weight to get that buzz bait up underneath stuff. So they, there's a single and the double. Personally, I'm a big fan of this double guy. Um, with the lead head on there, I really like the way Picasso poured the lead onto the shank of this hook. So it doesn't have a super wide head on it. A lot of people are taking the skirts off of regular buzz baits and threading the plastic all the way up over the head anyway but some of the heads on them, they're so wide that they're gonna split a lot of the plastics you try to feed up there. So if you're trying to feed like a, like a swim bait, some of the, the narrower frogs, or even like a fluke or something like that, it'll split the plastic and ruin it, and you're just gonna have a pain getting that stuff on there. With that head uh, not being so wide, you're not gonna have any problems getting that plastic up there. And you can see that pretty aggressive barb that they've molded into that lead as well. So, once you get the, the head of like your frog or whatever up on there, it's gonna lock it on there and it's not gonna go anywhere. And then they're, they're, they're putting a five aught must add hook on there. So you're gonna have plenty of power, get fish out of cover. The frame on here is Picasso's um, heat treated in biz wire. So it's really, really strong. It's got that kind of camo finish to it. And then to increase the squeaking noise on it, um, down, here on the, uh, down here on the rivets, they have the pre-rusted rivets. So when you start running this thing, you're gonna get that nice squeaking action that everyone tries to get. A lot of people leave their buzz baits outside to get that rust on them. Uh, you know, Picasso knows that that's sometimes what catches the fish. So they pretty much, uh, they went and did that for you already. All right, another top water, kind of a buzzing style top water as well. We got a new frog from Spro. This is the Spro Bronze Eye Blade. Um, this is a sweet frog. Seems like uh, there's a lot more of the hollow body frogs that are kind of that reeling style frog coming out these days. Uh, this one's gonna give you a little bit of flash, a little bit of different action, kind of give you multiple baits in one. So instead of the silicone legs, you got two Colorado blades on there. So they come in different colors, uh, you know, gold, silver, uh, depending on the color of frog you get. But those things are gonna spin and slap on the water. So you're gonna, not only gonna get a little bit of flash, but you're gonna get a bubble trail and a nice kind of a subtle bu buzzing action. It's not gonna be as aggressive as like a, like a whopper plopper or something like that. So kind of a, more of a, a subtle frog. Um, be perfect for those little bit calmer days instead of you know the, the windy, you know, choppy days out there. But you know, that hollow body frog, once you get this thing into open water or you want to stop it in holes or something like that, you can still walk it just like you would with a traditional, you know, like a skirted, uh, a skirted hollow body frog. So you can walk it, you know, move it around in place, pause it. You can burn it down the edges, you know, across open spots. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, they're not, you can run it through the weeds. These things aren't going to get fouled up since they're tucked back in there. Just a really cool frog. Definitely one you want to add to your arsenal for, uh, for frog season that's coming up here. All right, let's go over a few little soft plastics. The first one here, new drop shot bait. This is from X-Zone Lures. This one I'm super pumped about. This is the new X-Zone Lures Hot Shot Minnow. So this minnow was designed specifically for nose hooking on a drop shot. It's actually designed by Brandon Polinick. So they, I think they worked for about a year or so on this bait. So just to get the size right, the shape, uh, the tail, everything on there. I mean, you can see that tail going, you can you know, barely move this bait and that little tail get, um, gets to kicking and quivering. It's gonna be deadly on a drop shot, especially when the fish are really, really finicky and you don't want a lot of action. You can just hold this thing there and that tail's still gonna move around and just give you more of a, really, uh, a, more of a natural presentation. Another cool thing they did on this bait is there's a small slot right here on the chin where you, you feed your nose hook and the slot goes through and it's made to, uh, to feed your nose hook right through like the mouth of this bait. So they've already got the slot in there. So it keeps that bait 
in a perfectly horizontal position when you have it on a drop shot with a nose hook. Keeps it sitting perfectly horizontal and you're just gonna get better action and better hookups than going all the way through the head of it. Um, it's also made out of pretty high, uh, high buoyancy plastic. So you're not gonna have any problems with leaving it and it sink in or rising too much. It's gonna sit in that perfectly horizontal profile which you want. You can do other things with it. You can work it on a little jig head. You can put it on a Ned rig if you want, but really designed for that nose hook drop shot and that's where it's gonna excel. Next up, we got a new chunk trailer from Lunker Hunt. This is the Lunker Hunt tandem trailer. Uh, you know, it's cool to see more chunk trailers coming out there on the market. Um, you know, got a nice thick, you know, durable body. It's actually made of their ultra durable plastic. So you can pull on this thing and try to rip it and it's not gonna tear up like some of the heavy, heavy salted plastics out there. Uh, with this bait, the, the claw design is kind of unique. So it does have some ridges on there, but it's gonna have kind of an in-between action. It's not gonna be, you know, that dead stick style action like the old school pork trailers, but it's not gonna kick aggressively as like a, like a twin tail grub or like a rage craw. Kind of an in-between style of action. So, um, you know, nice middle ground there. Sometimes they, they, you know, sometimes they're not on one or the other. It's nice to kind of have that in-between style, more natural, st uh, more natural action. A couple of the other things they did with this bait is why they call it the tandem. They kind of set it up for you to rig it on a few different baits. So you can rig it on a jig, you know, just like you would with a traditional chunk. And they actually have a, sl uh, a, a small hole slot right there so you know exactly where to feed your hook through when you rig it onto a jig. And then on the top here, they have these little bulbs and they set that up so that you can rig this bait vertically on say like your spinner bait or vibrating jig or swim jig. And if you wanna get that, uh, that vertical presentation with the legs kicking sideways. So they put the markers on there so you know exactly where to feed the hook through and get it straight and, uh, and get it to run correctly if you wanna rig it horizontally or vertically. Super cool design there by Lunker Hunt. Next up from Yum. So, I mean, a lot of the places right now, the umbrella rig bite is going on and this is something that you wanna check out. So. Uh, Yum teamed up with Scottsboro Tackle Company and they've created a line of swim baits and an umbrella rig kit. So the Yum Scottsboro swim bait, uh, Yum is injecting these, uh, these Scottsboro swim baits. So they're using the Scottsboro shad uh, uh, body, but Yum is, is injecting them. So they're a little bit tougher than like the, than the hand pours that you would get with the traditional, with the, with the normal Scottsboro's. Um, but you're still gonna retain all that action. It's still gonna swim and kick and roll just like a Scottsboro does, but you're gonna have less inconsistencies. Maybe if there's like a color you like, not every single batch with a hand pour is gonna be perfectly exactly the same. They're, they're super close. They do a really good job. Um, but if there's a color that you really like, you can buy a bunch of them and you know when you come back, they're gonna be exactly the same. And they're a little bit tougher, so uh, with the injected plastic, so you can run a, uh, you can run them on, you know, if you want to run them on a swim jig, on a ball head, whatever you want, you're gonna be able to catch a few more fish on these little bit tougher baits. So we sell just the soft plastic swim baits by themselves. So we got them in, I believe, anywhere from three to four and a half inches. And then they also have uh, a, a Yumbrella, the Flash Mob Junior kit already with the Scottsboro baits in there. Little three inch Scottsboros. The kit comes with everything you need to run an umbrella rig. So it's got the rig in there. It's got five of the Scottsboro jig heads. It's got the Scottsboro swim baits in there, ready to fish. I mean, the Yum, the Yum Flash Mob Junior has already been one of our best selling umbrella rigs for years and years and years. And then teaming up with Scottsboro and getting the jig heads, you're getting a premium setup for a great price. So you're not having to buy, you know, a pack of jig heads, a pack of baits, they're giving you everything that you want right here in one package. And it, like I said, it's super great price for the whole setup. Uh, next up from Cast King. So we got some rods and reels. The first couple reels I want to go over uh, from Cast King, the first one is the new Mega Jaws casting reel. So this is a super cool reel. You know, it's, it's built really, really tough. It's aluminum frame, aluminum side plate, so really, really strong. On the inside, you can open this up and there's actually a magnetic brake system in there. It's a 10 pin, 10 pin position, super easy to adjust. And then you have the centrifugal out here on the outside. So two different brake systems, you can get it really, really dialed in and uh, just help reduce that backlash with the two braking systems in there. Um, on the line guide, so they have the Vortex Funnel line guide system. So from this angle, you can see, it's not just that little hole that some of the line guides, on some reels they have just that little hole for the line guide. With the Vortex Funnel, it kind of opens up that range a little bit and it's gonna reduce the line friction during a cast. So your line's gonna, uh, it's gonna flow easier through that middle line guide and just give you, you know, 
better casting distance, less backlash, less problems. Uh, just a really nice feature on this reel. Uh, you know, aluminum handle on the side, nice EVA foam knob, super, super comfortable. Um, one thing that they did bring back on the Cast King Mega Jaws, which I really like, is the flip and switch. So uh, with the flip and switch, not engaged, just a normal reel, just like just like normal. You engage the flip and switch, and then as soon as you let go of that uh, that thumb button, the reel engages. And if you've never used a flip and switch and flipped all day, I mean, it's a awesome feature because you can flip in there and just let off and you're engaged and ready to go because a lot of the times we've all had it happen where you, you flip in there and as soon as that bait hits the water you know fish bites and you need to set the hook so now you're not scrambling trying to grab that reel engage it you know get some line and, and set the hook you know you let go of that thing and it's game on uh, so super cool feature there's a couple companies bringing that back and i'm glad casking went ahead and did that as well this reel comes in a seven to one gear ratio and a nine to one. The one that I'm holding right here is a nine to one and it's in black, uh, red and the seven to one comes in a black. So you can get a couple different ones and easily see on your deck. You're not having to read the side of what gear ratio you have. You know, they're identified by color of what gear ratio each reel is. So if you're looking for a nice flipping reel, especially with that flip and switch, high speeds available in here, 119 bucks, pretty hard to beat. The next one up from Cast King is our new Speed Demon Elite Spinning Reel. So built like a tank, just like that Mega Jaws, you know, aluminum frame, uh, aluminum spool on there. I believe it's got aluminum gear on the inside, and then it has a carbon rotor to help reduce that weight and that, uh, that, that kind of force it takes to get the reel cranking. So really cool spinning reel, and why they call it the Speed Demon, it comes in a 7.4 to one gear ratio. So one of the highest speed spinning reels that are out there on the market. Um, it's cool to see some, some spinning reels coming out there in those higher ratios, especially if you're doing, you know, maybe like this little, uh, this little depth evoke shad and you're trying to run down the bank and crank that thing, you know, you have a little bit higher gear ratio to do kind of some of those finesse reaction style um, presentations with a spinning reel, but be able to keep the trolling motor going and actually cover some water on the, on the bank. Most spinning reels will only come in about a five or a six to one ratio. You know, Casking's giving you a seven to one. So just able to pick up more line, crank and you know with more and more little little finesse baits that you know little finesse cranks finesse jerk baits uh stuff like that that you want to use a spinning reel with but you want to cover some water this is going to be a good option for that of course it's going to be good for all the other uh you know all the other finesse applications drop shot shaky heads whatever you want to do it'll handle it but then even more than a normal spinning reel would do um it does have a carbon fiber drag system on there so super smooth drag you can use light lines no problems Last them we got here it is actually another one from Six Sense. This is a sweet new rod. This is the Six Sense Team Six casting rod. So we have these in casting and spinning, everything from you know down to I believe a six ten or six eleven drop shot rod, all the way up to a seven nine swim bait rod. So they got the whole gamut covered, everything in between. The blanks on these are thirty ton Japanese graphite blanks. So a nice balance of you know lightweight, super sensitive, really durable. They've got really nice actions. Like I said, they're technique specific. So Six Sense, you know, worked with their guys and they really dialed in the actions for all the techniques, you know, all the majority of the techniques out there that bass fishermen use. Um, on the guides, these have Fuji Concept O medium size guides. So kind of an in between of like a full size guide and a micro guide, but still has plenty of room for you guys that want to run braid to a leader. You're gonna have no problem shooting those leader knots right through there. Um, on the inserts, they're using a slim ceramic deep pressed uh, insert on there. So those inserts are set in there really, really strong. You're not gonna have any problems with popping the inserts out or anything like that. Really nice guide system. You know, and the most, uh, most appealing feature on this rod series, of course, down here on the handle, you check this thing out, super slick looking rod. So it has a fully woven carbon fiber handle and then they're using a Fuji two-piece reel seat on there to maximize blank exposure. So they're decreasing weight down here. And with that carbon fiber handle, you're gonna increase the amount of sensitivity and transmission that comes through the rod and down to your hand. So with a carbon fiber handle and you're getting maximum blank exposure here from the reel seat, you're gonna be in direct contact with that blank. So you're gonna get great overall sensitivity with this rod. So super excited to try one out and you know use it for jigs and stuff like that. When you're fishing out deep and you really wanna feel what's going on, I feel like this rod's gonna excel at those types of techniques. Uh, hook keeper, another important feature that I thought was really cool on this, on this rod. So they're using like a teardrop shaped hook keeper. So you can use it for, you know, it works great for like your Texas rigs, but since they're using that oval shape to it, you can still get like a treble hook through there, no problems. 
kind of, you know, some keepers only do good at Texas rig, some only do good at putting crankbaits on. I feel like this one's gonna give you kind of the best of both worlds. Um, really nice hook keeper to me, you know, the, uh, you know, rods don't, don't come with a hook keeper or they don't have one that, you, you know, that's not set up for that style of rod. Uh, kind of sucks. I feel like Sixth Sense did a good job with that little feature right here. Overall, awesome series of rods. Come in around 199 bucks and they got a three year warranty as well. So check these out from Sixth Sense. That's gonna wrap up this week's episode of What's New Attack Warehouse. For more information or to purchase anything seen here today, click shop or the link in the descriptions below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.